Hi, everybody. I am trying to prep our barbacoa for the class on April 10th, all right? Because what you're going to have to do is cook this meat in advance. So I have both my lamb and my beef that I'm kind of prepping up. Uh, I'm just going to show you or walk you through two of the main ways that you can make it. So I'm going to give you three options, but I'm only going to show you two. Uh, because one of them is so easy, you're going to dump everything in a crock pot, and I figured that didn't really take any thing for me to show you. <laughs> so that's uh, the first way. The second way would be in the oven. Uh, so we're going to do a nice low and slow cook in the oven. And then uh, the final way, one of my personal favorites, is I'm going to sous vide it. So I'm going to show you those last two ways. I'm going to show you the oven method, and I'm going to show you sous vide. So this is just the start. Obviously, I'm not going to you know, sit here and talk to you for three or four hours. Uh, well, the three or four hours that it would take uh, to cook this thing. But hopefully, yours will turn out perfect. Not hopefully, it will turn out perfect. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is preparing my oven um, uh, beef. So this is beef that I have here. And I'm just kind of trimming it up, cutting it into about two inch cubes. Nice big pieces, getting rid of some of the more sinewy pieces, um, trimming some of the fat. We do want a little fat, but not a ton of fat. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of chopping them up. I mean, like that's a sizable piece. So just for what that looks like, that's my palm and that's one of the pieces of beef. And I have tiny hands if you've ever met me in real life. All right, so just cutting it up. There we go. So that's the beef there. And then for the lamb, I am gonna sous vide the lamb. So that's gonna stay in its, in its entirety. So it's gonna be the whole piece. I've already trimmed that guy up. Um, but yeah, so now that I've got all of my pieces ready to go, I'm gonna go to the stove. Nice high heat. Some oil in that pan. Okay, so what you're also gonna get in your kit is a spice blend. It's gonna be a small container like that. Uh, you're going to get a chili blend. And so this is two different types of chilies, your garlic, lemon juice, and bay leaf. And then you're going to get some onions, OK? Uh, oh, and beef base. You will also get a container that has beef stock and tomato paste in it. So depending on whether you're cooking in the oven or doing sous vide, that'll determine when you use this. So if you're going in the oven, we're gonna use this right away. Same thing with the crock pot. Like I said, for the crock pot recipe, you're gonna dump everything in, you're gonna set it and forget it, done. Um, but with the sous vide recipe, we're not gonna put this much liquid into our sous vide bags because what I don't want to happen is for all of this liquid to just basically boil. Uh, it won't ever reach that temperature in sous vide, but essentially boil the meat. That's just not gonna make it as flavorful as possible. Instead, we'll use this as a finishing uh, part of the recipe and finish uh, the sauce that way. So all the juices from that sous vide bag will be strained and added to this, and then we'll reduce that to make the sauce. So in the crock pot, that'll already kind of be blended together. In the oven, it'll already kind of be blended together. But for the sous vide recipe, it's important to not add those. But again, you'll see it right before I put it up. So I think my pan is getting nice and hot. I'm about to grab uh, my beef here. Actually, let me just open my lamb just so I can show you what that looks like because this is lamb shoulder. So it's not quite one massive cohesive piece uh, like the saddle would be. So it's kind of got some components when it opens up. So what I like to do is just roll it. I'm gonna sear the sides. So top and bottom, so this side and that side. And then I'm gonna start to open it up to get some of those inner pieces. Really what I'm looking for is just some caramelization, a little Maillard reaction. That's gonna give me more flavor. It's important for the sous vide bag uh, that we get that Maillard reaction just because this would taste like boiled lamb otherwise. That allows the flavor to penetrate all the way through the meat and we get a more flavorful product at the end. So whenever I'm doing some sort of slow braising thing in sous vide, I always sear my meat first. And then when it comes out, depending on what I'm doing with it, I'll sear it or grill it to get the crisp. Okay, so those are my two proteins.
Okay, so if you noticed, I didn't put any seasoning on it, no salt, no pepper. That's because I have so many seasonings that are about to be covering this and then, uh, you know, cooking with it that I just didn't even want to add any additional flavoring right here. Normally, I would say I hit it with a little salt and pepper, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm just focusing purely on getting that Maillard reaction right now. And so the Maillard reaction, again, is that browning on, uh, on our protein. So I'm already starting to see it a little bit. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're getting somewhere. camera are we on? This one? Oh, Maillard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're getting nice and brown. Shouldn't take too much longer. Okay, a few more minutes here. So I'm getting a second pan going for the lamb, just so as soon as I'm done with this, I can show you what the lamb will look like. Um, and then we'll pretty much be ready to go. Oh yeah. Okay, that pan should be just about hot enough. Okay. Take my beef there. Seasonings. My chili mix. Right on top. Those beautiful onions on top of that. And for this guy, since it's going in the oven, I'm going to put my beef stock and tomato paste right on top. Okay. 
Then we're gonna cover this with aluminum foil and go ahead and put it right in the oven. Lamb time. Uh, it looks so good. Color is beautiful. The fat's getting nice and brown. I'm super excited about this. Oh, I almost forgot my beef base. A little bit of beef base in there. That's enough to mix it up. So I usually prep my bag by taking the top, folding it in on itself a little bit. Okay, so that I have a nice little lip. And that's really so that I don't get juices all the way to the edge that would prevent my seal from forming really nice and tight. fat <laughs> but nice and golden brown Ooh, looking beautiful okay actually maybe I'll keep the tongs so I'm gonna take that lamb put it right in there and then super easy take my spice my spice mix my chili blend dump it right in there my onions Shimmy those in there, and finally, my beef base. I'm a machine. My beef base in there. Flip that up. I'm gonna vacuum seal it.
There we go. Now you're ready for your oven or your sous vide. And if you did the crock pot version, you've already been done and you've already started drinking wine. So congratulations. Let's cook together in a bit. 